Emilia Romagna, an Italian region with a rich history, its own culture, and some of the most beautiful and charming villages in the country. The Emilian villages are like hidden gems, each telling its own story and offering an authentic experience. These enchanting places bear witness to the past and the present, a fusion of history, culture, natural beauty, and extraordinary cuisine. Prepare to get lost among medieval castles, centuries-old churches, incredible landscapes, and unforgettable culinary traditions. Welcome to Emilia Romagna. Before delving into the villages, it's important to remember that Emilia Romagna is also famous for its historic cities. Certainly among the most beautiful and significant are Bologna, with its terracotta rooftops coloring the historic center. Ravenna, with its basilicas and mausoleums. Ferrara, with its historic center and ancient walls. Parma, the birthplace of prosciutto and parmigiano. Cesena, with its relaxed atmosphere. Forlì, with museums, theaters, and a lively art scene. and Modena, with its automotive passion and traditional balsamic vinegar. These historic cities are the hubs of Emilian culture and innovation. In contrast, it's the small villages, the charming hamlets, that reveal the authentic soul of this region. Let's explore some of the most characteristic ones. Bobbio. It's a hidden gem, nestled among green hills in the province of Piacenza. This small town is famous for its ancient monastery, the Monastery of San Colombano, founded in 614 AD. The monastery, with its extraordinary Romanesque architecture, is a place of great historical and spiritual importance. But Bobbio is also a place where nature and history harmoniously blend, with its wooded hills and streams that traverse the surrounding landscape. Another attraction not to be missed is the Ponte Gobbo, an ancient bridge with an irregular profile spanning the Trebia River. Brizigela Nestled among the gentle Emilian hills in the province of Ravenna, it's a medieval village that seems frozen in time. This location is famous for its three towers that dominate the historic center. The most imposing tower is the clock tower, from which you can enjoy a spectacular panoramic view of the town and the surrounding countryside. The other two towers are the Rocca Manfrediana, one of the distinctive symbols of the village, and the Sanctuary of the Blessed Virgin of Monticino. But Brizigela is also famous for the production of high-quality olive oil, which you can taste in local restaurants and shops. Dotsa. A small village near Bologna, it's a unique place thanks to its festival of the painted wall. The facades of houses in Dotsa have become a canvas for internationally renowned artists who create extraordinary mural artworks. Every two years, the village transforms into an open-air art gallery, attracting visitors from around the world. 
But in addition to the artworks, Dotsa also offers panoramic views of the Sail Lustra River Valley and a charming atmosphere with its cobblestone streets and characteristic squares. Castel Arquato Located in the province of Piacenza, this village is a true architectural gem, with its well-preserved castle and stone houses dating back to medieval times. The main square, Piazza Monumento, is the heart of the village and hosts a series of historic buildings and cozy cafes where you can enjoy local delicacies. But what truly makes Castel Arquato special is its unspoiled atmosphere, making you feel like you've stepped back in time. Grazano Visconti, province of Piacenza. It's a village built to resemble an ancient medieval citadel. Founded in the 20th century by the artist Giuseppe Visconti, this village is perhaps Italy's most beautiful historical forgery. Cobbled streets, towers, walls, and a castle create a fantastic medieval atmosphere, even though this charming place never existed in the Middle Ages. Grazzano Visconti is also famous for its antique market, where you can find unique pieces and vintage items. It's a place that certainly has all the ingredients to be a true fairy tale village. Monte Gridolfo. Located on the border between Emilia Romagna and Marche, in the province of Rimini. This village is dominated by the Monte Gridolfo Castle, a imposing medieval fortress offering a beautiful panoramic view of the Marecchia River Valley. The village has been skillfully restored to preserve its historical atmosphere, and walking its streets is like taking a step back in time. Monte Gridolfo is a perfect place for those who want to take a break from the hustle and bustle of modern life and immerse themselves in tranquility. Sant'Arcangelo di Romagna, province of Rimini. It's a charming village with a millennium-old history. One of its landmarks is the Bonci Theatre, a jewel of Italian Art Nouveau architecture. The historic center features narrow streets and welcoming squares, making it an ideal place for a relaxing stroll. Throughout the year, international festivals and village fairs bring Sant'Arcangelo di Romagna to life. San Leo, in the province of Rimini. It's situated on a hill with panoramic views of the Marecchia River Valley. The village is known for its San Leo Fortress, a powerful medieval stronghold. The fortress is an impressive example of medieval military architecture and was used as a prison for famous historical figures, including the renowned alchemist Cagliostro. In addition to the fortress, San Leo boasts a rich history and several ancient churches with authentic charm. Castel Vetro. Located among the hills of Modena, it's famous for producing high-quality wines, especially Lombrusco. The village offers an authentic and engaging atmosphere with winding streets and stone houses that preserve their historical character. A visit to Castel Vetro is the perfect opportunity to taste delicious wines and immerse yourself in Emilia Romagna's wine culture. Monte Fiorino. A small village nestled in the mountains of the Modena Apennines, in the province of Modena. It offers a peaceful and relaxed atmosphere with stone houses, cobblestone streets, and typical squares, 
creating an ideal environment for an escape from the frenzy of modern life. Montefiorino is also famous for its traditional festival called La Festa del Pazzo, during which the village comes alive with performances, games, and traditional costumes. Fumalbo Situated in the Tuscan Emilian Apennines, in the province of Modena, it offers an authentic mountain atmosphere. The village is rich in stone buildings, ancient streets, and a genuine mountain ambience. It is surrounded by incredibly beautiful natural landscapes and offers the opportunity to explore the surrounding mountains through hiking and outdoor activities. Compiano Located in the province of Parma, it's a charming village dominated by its medieval castle, the Compiano Castle. This well-preserved castle sits atop a hill and offers a panoramic view of the surrounding valley. The village is also known for its authentic charm, with narrow streets and stone houses transporting visitors back in time. Compiano is definitely a place perfect for those who want to fully immerse themselves in medieval history and architecture. <music>